For years now, engineers and technologists have been deciphering what could be the next big thing after smartphones replace desktops. Everyone in the game is speculating about what this next big thing would be. But Mark Zuckerberg, Meta's chief, is of the opinion that the metaverse, which is an immersive virtual world entered with a headset, is the next big thing. However, it looks like there's something bigger than Meta's headset in the metaverse. Currently, people have gotten used to leaning their necks as they look at their phones. From bus stations to meetings, to even family dinners, necks are bent over looking at our phone screens. But just imagine, instead of staring down at our phones all day, we get to stare at digital information hovering over the world in front of us. It will be a blend of the digital and the real world, thanks to augmented reality contact lenses. This futuristic technology is becoming a reality thanks to the dozens of engineers in Saratoga, California, who have been working on releasing prototypes of a smart contact lens stuffed with tiny circuits, batteries, and one of the world's smallest displays every week. The engineers at Mojo Vision are working to bring the next big thing after smartphones and the metaverse to our reality. And soon, our reality will be augmented reality contact lenses that display information around us so that we can see both the online and real world at the same time. According to the famous tech journalist, Harmi Olson who visited the Mojo Vision office, she was able to test the contact lenses through a virtual reality headset to test its eye tracking technology and demo apps. From her experience, she could shift a cursor around the space in front of her by moving the lens. She could read from a digital teleprompter that displayed a series of words as she moved her eyes, and she could look around the room to see arrows pointing north and west, which was designed to help users with navigation when they were outdoors. She added that she could simply click on one of the apps dotted around a circle by looking at a small tab next to the app for an extra second. It had numbers and text that appeared in her upper field of view displaying the weather, cycling speed, or providing information on an upcoming flight. And to close the app, one just has to look away from the information for a full second. There's no doubt that Mojo Vision lenses could replace our phone screens, but what went into producing this next-level technology? To produce one of the most ambitious hardware projects, the company had to develop its own chemicals and plastic compounds that would allow an eyeball to breathe through the lenses that were covered in electronics. These augmented reality contact lenses are noticeably thick and large enough to cover beyond the iris to the white parts of the eyes. However, David Hobbs, Mojo Vision's senior director of product management, revealed that the lenses were not uncomfortable to wear. They were also made with nine titanium batteries, like the ones in pacemakers, and a flexible circuit narrower that is slimmer than a strand of human hair, which would provide all the power and data. The smart contact lenses have a slightly convex mirror that bounces light off a tiny reflector to simulate the mechanics of a telescope. The convex mirror magnifies the pixels that are packed into just 2 microns, approximately 0.002 millimeters. In Olson's opinion, the smart contact lens would be perfect for people to watch TikTok videos. However, Mojo Vision has a more practical use for the contact lens. According to Senior Vice President of Product and Marketing, Steve Sinclair, they want the information that the lens displays to be very tight, fast, quick snippets. But that won't happen until the company is able to figure out how much information will be too much information. But when it comes to their practical uses, Mojo Vision is working on a lens for visually impaired people. This lens will be able to show glowing digital edges overlaid on objects to make it easier to see those objects. And that's not all they're doing concerning practical application. The company is also testing different interfaces with companies that make running, skiing, and golfing apps for phones. They want to create a new kind of hands-free display of activity. According to Sinclair, if all goes according to plan and regulatory bodies do not cause any delays, people would be able to buy a bespoke Mojo lens in five years. However, Mojo Vision's promise of five years seems too ambitious given that they are not the first augmented reality project to promise and be delayed or even live up to the hype. For instance, Alphabet Incorporated, a Google parent company, failed to deliver a smart contact lens meant for medical use. Nevertheless, other big tech firms have not allowed the delays and failures of other companies to derail them from making their own devices. With Mojo Vision well on its way to replacing our phone screens with its smart contact lens, Apple is also developing lightweight augmented reality glasses with hopes of releasing them by the end of the decade. There are also reports that Meta is preparing to introduce its first ever augmented reality glasses in 2024. With these projects still underway, compared to virtual reality that is up and running, one has to wonder 
Why is augmented reality taking longer? Experts have revealed that there's a delay in augmented reality because of its goal to blend digital elements with physical objects in a view that is constantly moving. As such, it is a complex task that requires a lot of processing power. But while we wait for the augmented reality contact lens and glasses to become a reality, there's still one big question that hangs over our heads. How would people be able to balance being present in real life while constantly seeing digital information? Because with the augmented reality contact lens, we'll be able to open an app just by looking at it for an extra second. That kind of immersion is sure to cause some kind of addiction and influence how we interact with the world. However, Sinclair sees it in another light, in his opinion, people are going to have instant access to information. So whether it's with contact lenses or glasses, Olson believes that the human eye will point to a world swimming in more detailed information than ever before. Maybe it is a good thing or not, but the fact remains that sooner or later, augmented reality contact lenses will replace our phone screens. So what are your thoughts on augmented reality contact lenses and how they can replace our phones? Do you think these big tech firms are just building castles in the air? Let us know what you think in the comments section. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you never miss an upload.